If you're an entrepreneur, a marketer, or an agency owner, and you're still finding leads manually, you're working backwards. I used one tool to generate a 10,000 person lead list in less than 48 hours. No paid ads, no outreach, no cold DMs. Just smart automation, clean data, and real potential customers scraped and ready. Now you're probably wondering what the name of this tool is, and the name of this tool is IG Leads. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get 10,000 personal leads in less than 48 hours as well. But you gotta make sure you hang with me in this video to the very end so you don't miss a step. Let's be honest, lead generation is the lifeblood of any business but simultaneously is also one of the biggest time drains of any business owner. You either spend money on ads hoping the right people show up or hire VAs to manually scrape social media platforms for you or the worst of them all. Do it yourself without getting any results. And the problem with the last way of doing things is that it's going to take so much time out of your day. And if you tune into this channel, you know what I always say, you as a business owner need to move yourself away from the operational activities of your business as soon as possible. Doing this is just going to take up your entire calendar and take you away from actually filling those sales calls that you should be doing as a business owner. It's for this exact reason IG leads totally exist. And it's a tool that easily scrapes different social media platforms, whether that's Instagram, LinkedIn, or even something like Google Maps. Just type in a keyword and it gives you valuable leads for you to connect with. Honestly, it's literally like giving your sales funnel an x-ray vision. That's the functional equivalent of this fantastic tool. So this is how you can pull 10,000 leads in 48 hours using IG leads. First and foremost, you've got to choose a source. I'm going to start with Instagram because I know that Instagram is a really great asset to really scrape leads from you know it's very popular amongst decision makers one way or the other so we're going to start with instagram also the great thing with instagram is that you can scrape based on the following hashtags location or even bios with specific keywords now this gives me enough information to determine whether someone is a decision maker and also exactly what they do for a living and this is exactly what we want to do I want to be able to niche it down to a fitness coach or even an event planner so that I know that I'm able to target the right audience. It all depends on exactly what you want to target. So for example, if you wanted to target financial analysts, you can do that. It's all about what you want to filter it down to. So it's pretty clear to see why setting filters is imperative at this stage. The next step is to decide whether it's a B2C or a B2B depending on your target audience. So or with Instagram in particular, I think it's really good for B2Cs because you can then directly speak to the people that are running various organizations. Targeting businesses via Instagram, in my opinion, is probably not the best way to go about things. So we are going to stick to B2C for this particular task. Now, the next step is to run the scrape. Click start and IG Leads begins collecting the following. Instagram handles, emails, if they're public, of course, phone numbers, websites, and of course, location. And all of this information is delivered in the clean CSV file. Ready then to plug into your CRM, email campaign, and your outreach system. So it's very clear to see how diverse IG Leads is and how we can target multiple facets when it comes to getting leads and getting the right customers to nurture your business and most importantly, enable you to generate revenue and then obviously a profit, which is the end result. And the most important thing when it comes to running any form of business. Look, I'm very big on businesses being able to generate revenue because that's the purpose of running a business. I don't care what kind of business you're running. If your business is not making money, it's not a business, it's a charity. So now that I've gotten this juicy list of 10,000 leads, you can start doing the following this list. You can upload it to your cold email software. You can also segment by niche and location, craft targeted outreach messages that targets their presence on Instagram. You could also drive them to a landing page, booking form, or a DM funnel. 
Remember, you're not just blasting emails, you're actually starting conversations with people that actually care about what you have to offer. Because this is a targeted approach and the list that we have gotten is specifically for whatever niche your business covers. And because you're using IG leads, you can actually personalize it even further. A typical message could look something like this. Hey, so you run a fitness coaching page in London. Love your content, quick question. That's how you get your open rates above 40% and your reply rate to around 15%. It's cold, but it's personal so that you know exactly what the business has to offer. And people are more likely to respond in a favorable manner to messages like that, as opposed to a typical standard generic cold message that just looks spammy. Let me put this in perspective so that you can see what this can potentially look like from the number side of things. With this list, you can potentially land five clients based on the open rates ratio, the closing rate ratio and declining rate ratio. And on top of that, you could potentially get $7,500 in service revenue. Now, compare that to Meta and Google Ads, where you spend thousands on running these kind of ads and only get a few signups. This is data you own. This is targeted outreach. And this is how entrepreneurs like me build profitable, lean, lead machines. Other scrapers are slow, sketchy, and often blocked. Not only that, the data is usually also often incomplete. IG Leads is cloud-based, no risk of getting blocked, fast 10K leads in under two days, safe and compliant, which is the most important thing, and works well with Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Google Maps, and much more. It is really important that it has this ability to connect with modern platforms. Long gone are those days where you look into the yellow pages so you have to rely on manual post addresses and get information in a manual manner. Most people are going to be on these platforms that I mentioned. Most decision makers, most modern entrepreneurs are always going to be on this platform. They might not have all of them, but I guarantee you they have at least one. Something very interesting happened to me the other day. I was actually networking and I was speaking to an entrepreneur. He must have been in his 60s and he was telling me that he just jumped on TikTok because he realized that for him to remain relevant with his current business, he had to be on TikTok. That just tells you that TikTok, yes, it was designed for the younger generation, right? But the older generation who are keen on making more money are also jumping on TikTok. That just shows you the power of being on all these platforms that I just mentioned. On top of that, it's got inbuilt filters, so you don't waste time cleaning messy data. So if you are serious about growing your business in 2025, you need better data and more of it. Whether you run an agency, SaaS, consulting brand, or you're building your audience, this tool is a no brainer. And if you are ready to check out this tool today, check out the top link in my description. It will take you straight to their website so you can get going with them today. And you can really start garnishing and getting better data for your business. It is time for me to round this video up. If you found this video helpful, useful, you know exactly what you need to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and more importantly, tap the notification bell. I want to say thank you once again for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video where we are, of course, going to be talking about more business, entrepreneurship, and finance. So make sure you stay tuned for that next episode. See you soon. Bye-bye.